I did not think it was before Bowsette. Okay. That felt very I, I know. Me. I knew it was like around that time. What that's, is... Hold on. Booba that's a 12 month Cup. difference. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> before we completely uh, go off the rails here, I'm going to rein us in here. <laughs> We're discussing... <laughs> We're discussing oh, important. I agree art with history. your dog. <laughs> I agree with your. Do- anyway, what the fuck did you do last time? Tell me what you um, did last time. We tried to dad. get. Yeah, we tried to get Lily back. Didn't work, and then we found out that, and we're in America now. Uh, milk. Oh yeah, but not we a good found, kind of milk. We found the third faction's treehouse, and we tried to raid it, but it didn't have any goodies in it, so we just left. Yeah. We found you editor. have a you have a notebook that your daughter scribbled in. Yeah. Okay, it had one goodie in it. Okay, hello. It's not it's not much of a goodie bag. <laughs> did you look okay. through that uh like during the night? Did you look through that notepad uh, anymore? Yeah. yeah, if you would have. Yeah. Uh she just draws a bunch of stuff every now and then. Uh there's clearly pictures of like you, of like mm-hmm. Shinji, the rest of the party, uh, and like, uh, you know, she, she, she wrote and she, uh, drew a lot. It's probably how she passes the time. She, like, technically, like, from a standpoint of technical skill, her arts, uh, improving quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, but you can tell that she's just doing it to keep herself sane. Yeah. More than anything else. Uh, I don't have. To, oh, I'm stupid. I don't have to fucking. Like... Come here. Eh? Edgar. Sorry. Oh, you're fighting with the cat again. Uh, I'm not in the game yet. I was sitting here thinking everyone was in here except for you. Well, it's, it's, uh, it happens. We don't need a DM. It's fine. We beat, we won D&D. You won D&D. Well, past I have not, I have not yet given up the ghost. Uh, hold on. I'm going to get us a, a map of... Let's get us a map of the American South. Yeah, we're not in Europe anymore. We are in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Kansas isn't in the... Okay. Is it not? I don't know what states are where. I know where Texas is. It's like in the center more. And I've been told that I live shortly north of New York State. It's... It's... It's in Tornado Valley, so in the middle of the U.S. That doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Tornado Valley. It's in the middle of the U.S. It's, okay. It's like in the middle... I mean, you have to go like the great like plains. smack dab in the center, or like slightly yes, to the left or like, right. Like, like okay. if you split the U.S. into like thirds, it's the middle third. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. The great I'm putting on a map of, of like the American South in here. Kansas isn't even on this map. Uh, all I see is a grid. Yeah, because well, I haven't put it in yet. Oh, oh that makes sense. <laughs> this is a- I'm, living I'm going to shit. <laughs> you're welcome, and I'm sorry. I didn't know the state. Uh, no, you're not. You're welcome for really? teaching you that my understanding of American geography is just as bad as my understanding of European geography. Like, I love when people go, oh, you only know this stuff because you live in Europe. It's like, no, you're just bad at geography. You live it up. You live up. Like, you, you accept that you're bad at geography, so you get a pass. But like, I'm, ver- like, I'm very oh, proud of it. <laughs> okay, there you go. You're like you're in Georgia right now, so you're in, in the yellow Can I, here. Is Florida not considered part of the American South? Because it's, it's the same color as all the other states. It's it's weird. Okay. You sanction all Florida, like it's quarantine. Florida is <laughs> becoming own micronation. Florida yeah. is a nuclear Florida is Chernobyl. Yeah. It's it's weird because well it's obviously part of the South but culturally it's not part of the deep South. Yeah. Even though it's the that... deepest South. <laughs> well, it's more of a okay. Florida is pretty much all a tourist destination. All of this, not so much. 
not so much. This is not as desirable to visit as uh, Florida. Florida is so well, deep in the south. Florida, I'd argue, is is closer to sort of the the Caribbean. Yeah, Florida is so like, deep in the south. Southern it becomes Florida northern is just a again. tourist trap. Uh, like north northwestern Florida, uh, yeah, rather northeastern Florida is. Uh, that's probably the most. Uh, uh, this right here is where Disney is. Yeah. Okay, I've been there. I know that. Yay. Like yeah. Western I've... Florida is probably the closest you can get to. My mm. mom lives here. Like Western Florida is probably as as close as you can get to being Dixie Core in 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 that Bull region. Street, yeah. I didn't know Florida bordered Georgia. Or That's why here. that band is called Florida Georgia Line. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mom lives like right here. She only lives like an hour two. Uh, have we established where in Georgia? Uh, uh family like lives here. Cool. In that case, I will grab the party symbol and just just slap it down there. He he lives in the middle of fucking nowhere. Not close enough to Atlanta to actually be fucking liberal, but not close enough to anything fun to be liberal. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Though that is uh an area where there were a lot of gigantic labor strikes in the twenties. So. Yeah. A little bit further south. Cool. A little bit, okay. A little bit so further down. My entire understanding of Georgia comes Wait. from watching the first season of Atlanta and watching the first, like, eight seasons of The Walking Dead. Oh. So. so <laughs> once again, what did you guys do last time other than that? Well, well we, we tried back. getting Lily and then missed her very... Narrowly. Yeah. Um, we captured we prisoners. some prisoners, yeah. Um, and we got her notebook, and we found out we very, barely missed her, but we know she's in the U.S., and somewhere kind of in the this region, if memory serves. This area, uh, yeah. Mobile Bay is what I said. N- no. <laughs> What did I say? You said it's like she marked a vague X about here, like just a, just. I very specifically said at the Gulf of Mexico. You just might just be misremembering that. All right, I trust you, love. Or the DM. I'll be right back, real quick. Yeah, no, absolutely, because I, I, <clears throat> what I wrote down here is coastline swamp, uh, Mississippi, in quotations, the river. Okay, in any case, it's like this area. We know it's here-ish. Okay, what did no. you have written down? I said that you put, like, an X, like, over a vague X right about here. This, hold on, let me get my pen. Like, here. Okay, then that, that's not what I meant. Okay. In any case, we know that that is not correct. Um, but you, you have corrected me. Why is text appearing on Ohio? I've been watching this for several minutes. <laughs> Is that are you? Are you letting out your your lived frustrations here, OS? Yes. <laughs> I've been really enjoying the show. Thank you. Uh, it's fine. I don't care if you violate Ohio. I Oscar did not... commits crimes against humanity within the borders of Ohio. It's Ohio. It's not humanity. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Where's Where's freehand? You know, if people in if people in Caucasia are human, then people in sub Caucasia must therefore be. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this entire party does not, should not be allowed near a map. <laughs> Please, you're better than most. <laughs> 
I will say that. You're better than most. Worst you'll do is draw a dick. <laughs> I yeah, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, we already did. Like, <clears throat> normally I would have to re start removing things because they would break YouTube's terms of service. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. Oh, no. Now he just kind of looks like a little creature. <laughs> it's just a little creature. Oh, this is called. This is. Oh my god! Ohio is the, the home. Ohio it's Jeremy is the, the home. Moose. He's from Ohio. Of the wild penal creature. <laughs> <laughs> Distance to Ohio. <laughs> you are in imminent. You are in Ohio. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I didn't realize there was more down to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> ah, need a new proxy woman. Cool. Um, you guys wake up in your little. Well, most of you wake up in your little sleeping bags. Uh. In the big barn. Um, because of jet lag, you wake up very early. Like, like uh, fucking Sam, whatever, early, or? Uh, like, you wake up. It's the sound of cows mooing very loudly. <laughs> yeah, you're basically woken up by the first, like, um, like, oh, a farm over, a fucking, uh... What's the, the, uh, the... More common term for a cock? A rooster. Like a male chicken? Rooster. rooster. <laughs> Thank you. What color is it? Okay. Is it, is it black? I... What's the really size? Big? <laughs> Please. You hear a rooster, like, two farms over, like, scream as it does. Like, the sun is just rising. Uh, as you get up. And it's winter, but it's winter in the American South. So it's like, you, you want your clothes on? But from what you're used to, it's more like spring. When you say we want our clothes on, are you implying the party is usually nude? Uh, like, <laughs> you want, like, a sweater and, like, a light jacket on when you go out. Okay, that makes sense. Um, for all of you who have been a lot more out in... A war zone for the past, uh, for the past six months. This is a pretty nice refreshment. Mm. The accommodations aren't any worse than what you're used to, but you don't wake up to the smell of uh, fire, brimstone, and burnt corpses. You do, however, um, wake up to the smell of cow, cow dung. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was like, that one David's up, mom? <laughs> You wake up, you go outside, and you know that the thaw and like the grass is sort of brushing against your ankles. It's yeah. David didn't sleep with you guys, but you see him over at one of the other barns, um, kind of just doing farm work. He just looks like he slipped right back into helping out with chores around the farm, <laughs> feeding the cows some hay. He's petting them, talking to so, the cows. So, uh, Didi, you're, you're, you're not. You weren't you were coming through for a second, DD. What the hell? Last we heard, he said like he slipped back into the bank chores. Okay, uh, yeah, David. David is uh has slipped back into doing his chores. He's kind of working at one of the other barns, um, and he is currently um like feeding the cows some hay, petting petting them, talking to the cows. It looks like from a distance, the cows are moving um, back at him occasionally. <laughs> There's like a, a big, like camp, you know, like a camping table out uh, in front of the front porch uh, with like just a bunch of breakfast accommodations on it. Like, you know, a big jug of lemonade and uh, a bunch of like 
you know, sausages, breakfast food in general. Uh, there's some grits on the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so the idea is, as is explained to you whenever you get near David's dad, who is um, currently uh, scrubbing one of uh, his bowls. Uh, like, you know, make sure they're, they're first clean. Uh, he, he, whenever you come near first time, you explain, just, just take what you want, it's breakfast. Oh, I'm gonna pelt myself. Consume. Don't have to tell me twice. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, you've got another couple hours before anything's gonna happen, so what's everyone gonna do? Um, David's mainly just catching up with his family, to be quite honest with you. It's like, if anyone ever starts to interact with him, though, he is immediately going to, like, um, drag them into the conversation in that you cannot escape, you do not have a choice kind of way, um, and, uh, start... You know, offering to show people around the farm, introduce people to the cows. Um, the cows. Warwick is being as friendly as possible with every cow because they don't know which one is David's mom. <laughs> it could be anyone. Memory gone. <laughs> uh, well, he wasn't. No, you were here. You met. You met her. Oh, oh did I? Oh, right. I had. I Ian. I had to leave. Yeah. Well, no. Right. I made you go to the shack uh you however quickly learn that this is the shack she uses for her hobbies and you uh in the morning met do i find cow tools <laughs> shut the fuck up what the fuck is cow tools <laughs> Ca okay uh, hang on we don't have time to explain that okay fair enough uh, basically okay basically it's it's an edition of a comic from the 80s that, that that's complete nonsense it's just a cow standing in front of a bunch of tools the caption is cow tools it's like from a comic strip it's complete Even the author nonsense it. It, it's it yeah no it's it, basically they just shat it on the paper and we're like yeah that's oh like my good. god this is far side okay Look in VC. yeah no far Look side got it yeah cow tools cow tools uh like you meet this woman she's got little horns but other than that she's a just a normal human lady as far as she can tell as you can tell and she uh, introduces herself as uh, David's stepmom. <laughs> Hold on. What state do you want it over, OS? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just put it like the Gulf of Mexico? <laughs> What state do you want as in OS? Uh, let's put it like right smack dab in the middle of Missouri. Just so it's like always in our peripheral. Okay. <laughs> just smack looming. dab in the middle of the story. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Is this what's behind the sky hole? <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> you <laughs> That's entropy? <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Damn. <laughs> This is awful, but I. Oh, I see you're lucky that I love you. <laughs> it's so big! It's so big! It hasn't even loaded in for me yet. <laughs> oh, that's not for you. I love that it's slightly squished. <laughs> Hold on. Terrifying, thank you. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> Don't you love your D&D party? Yeah. My other DM won't let us draw all over all over his maps. <laughs> this is way more fun. I honestly don't care. Like I What what I circled in M Maryland? Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Uh <laughs> what circled in in progress? That's... Oh, it's the work in progress. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh god. Oh, 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 oh yeah. 
That is true. I didn't know Mar I didn't know Maryland was trying to eat us. <laughs> the all consuming maw. <laughs> I just saw it, I was like, huh, that kind of looks like a head. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that you guys just have a map, and this is actually what you put on. This is how you, like, you actually vandalize your own map. <laughs> yes, yes, like, David's dad was kind enough to provide us one for us to get started on stuff. Warwick is getting scolded because he keeps saying Louisville and Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, it, it'd be really fucking funny if the one put a literal, like, poor aspect ratio printout of the fucking yodeling dude is Asuka. Dude, it's just like, it's there. Where did you get it? <laughs> Question, don't ask. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what David's doing. What's, uh, let's get on the list. What's, uh, da -da 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 -da. what's Warwick doing? Uh, well, Warwick... <laughs> I'm trying to think. Warwick is has never been in the U.S. and is very confused by the strange hosp the hospitality and the food and the smell. He they certainly hope all of America doesn't smell like this. Uh, Spoiler. I think Warwick's just eating breakfast and then just like letting David introduce them to everybody. That's fair. Uh, now while you. I want all of you obviously to picture Warwick being led around by a very enthusiastic David, who's followed by like a gigantic bird twice the size of Asuka. Mm. <laughs> I don't know that it's twice the size of Asuka. That'd it's be actually, 10 feet. It's, it's actually, That's a low exactly bar to clear. Asuka size. I mean, pick um, anyone in the party that twice the size of Asuka. I was going to say, twice the size of Asuka is a low bar to clear. <laughs> so. Now, uh, being led around by a very enthusiastic David, followed by a very big bird. Being introduced to every cow. And this here's Uncle Eustace. Now he's the one you really gotta worry about. He was our prize bull before. Uh, uh... Is, is he actually your uncle or is that just like an affectionate? Oh, he's. Mom's ex. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> uh, you hear the woman you met earlier uh, behind you. Yeah. He's a were cow, you know? Every full moon he turns into a man. Then he, he's I, very sad that uh that I divorced him. I genuinely can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> no. Okay. He refuses to put on clothes when he does. It's quite it, annoying. Ah, mm. uh, huh. <laughs> One of these days I'll get pants on you, uncle. And he pat pats the cow. <laughs> Have you tried putting pants on him when he's still a cow? He bucks, yeah. You'd need big pants, but... The problem is he's real scrawny when he turns into a man. Oh, he's a spindly so little just, fella. Just, it just falls off. Get right? one of those, like, el elastic, elastic, like, waist ones. Oh, yeah, get him pregnancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I do still have some of those, but I get the feeling I'll need them again soon. Hmm. Congratulations. David quickly changes the topic. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it, David, I need to know. Is it rude to ask if you speak cow? Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Uh, uh, d d DM, did we decide that... Um... <laughs> uh, not actually, but basically. Like, cows know what you mean. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, the nearest cow licks your face. <laughs> Told you. Uh, Horrifying. Thank you. In the meantime, while this is going on, what's uh, Lilith doing? She is probably like just relaxing for once in her life. Just like keeps offering to see if there's anything she can do to help, but she's kind of just like around taking in the sun um yeah. uh you get like a, a the occasional like grasshopper that hops on the rock you're sitting on she's so. just like big what <laughs> yeah kuro's there with you she's also big wetting at local wildlife <laughs> like a dragonfly goes by and she just like follows it 
like runs mm -hmm. after a dragonfly. Mm. Um, he trips over a cow. <laughs> fucking like full body, just fucking <laughs> heart wheels over a cow. <laughs> I miss the cow. <laughs> uh, what's Asuka doing? Or rather, no, Bob Asuka. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Nina's first. What's Nina doing? Um, probably also offering to help, but like aggressively. <laughs> like she doesn't know what else to do, so she's like, "Is there anything I can do <laughs> around the farm?" How tall is she? I can remind me. I feel like I asked this before. <laughs> like five five, very oh, mid. Okay. Mid, not short. Yeah. You ever just see like a magical girl fucking help you on a farm in rural <laughs> yeah. uh, Georgia? Magical right cowgirl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I can. Oh god, the fucking singing cowboy man just loaded in for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, Asuka, what's up with you? Um, so, we woke up how many hours ago at this point? At this point, it's like, uh, ten, so you guys woke up, like, at least four-ish hours ago. Okay. Um, the group would probably immediately notice that, uh, she appeared to keep coming up with excuses as to why she shouldn't, like, Join the others immediately, but eventually she shows up. He's wearing You're her, um, roboting pretty bad. Oh, hold on. It was doing this yesterday. I mean, I don't know why. Am I doing it? No, it's not. I've literally restarted our computer. Okay, then it's just uh, your computer, your computer's connection being like, nah. Do you want to try talking through my mic? <laughs> like, do you want to come over here and use my headset? <laughs> Give me one second. Come over try and shout into my face. Try reconnecting. No ass. No ass. Yeah. No ass. No ass. So no ass. <laughs> so no ass. Smashes phone. Jumps on skateboard. <laughs> So no S. Something I piss you. off Didi every now and then with is by doing a uh, impression of Worf from Star Trek and then doing the no bitches thing. <laughs> <clears throat> Captain, no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, OS. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys. But like, my internet's fine. I can stream. It's just Discord. It, it started doing this random. Hold on. I might try restarting our router. Is that okay, Maybe it's a server. Hold on. Try speaking now, us. No, but we try changing regions. It doesn't work either. Oh, well, I just changed the bitrate a bit. Yeah. I didn't I, hear I any roboting. I can understand you. Time. It's it's just it's it'll be fine. I can understand you. Okay. Well, if you want, I can try restarting the router for some to you guys. How long would that take around? Uh, uh, probably like three minutes. No more than five. I uh, sure. Let's do it. Okay. Is that okay, D? I mean, I am not gonna stop you. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. So, be right back. Is anybody that needs to go to the bathroom do it now? We're gonna yeah, drink. Drink. We're gonna drink. We're gonna back. I'll go grab a drink. Did you know if you set the bitrate to the absolute minimum in Discord? I can't believe this silenced.
Well, we have the other cord. I mean, do you want to try running it over there? Yeah. The only reason I haven't yet is because I knew we were gonna s we were talking about switching where our computers were. Yeah. I love the notes. Those are fun. Mari found dead in Miami. Yes. Did it finally? <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, is Duma here? I think Duma might have stepped away to grab a drink or something. Okay. Yeah. Can't believe Duma died. She went to put cheese and rings in the oven. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sounds I don't good. Think that is either. <laughs> Ring in mouth. Like an onion. I'm imagining like an onion ring, but it's full of cheese. Yeah. Are you guys ready for kitty problems tomorrow? Yeah. I am concerned to learn what cat problems means. <laughs> it means a cat problem. <laughs> There's a cat problem. <laughs> I'm concerned about how it relates to the child. There are so many different ways it could be. A cougar could break into the house and eat the baby. A cougar could break into the house and the baby could eat it. Yeah. A cougar could break into the house and raise the baby. I don't know. Mm. Oh my god, we found its parent. <laughs> Holy it's shit, it's a father. <laughs> oh my god, it's a cougar. I Why say it as a 50-year-old comes in. <laughs> the baby's father is Scar from The Lion King. <laughs> you know. Mm. People love that guy. 
Yeah, renowned for how good he is with children. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was kind enough to tell us, he was kind enough to show us about how his father died. Yeah. <laughs> Really values mm. truth. He's a really he's really a family man, you know. Yeah, yeah. he's really goal orientated. <laughs> and he showed Simba all those cool sights like that stampede. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can't wait for the gang to, like, get, like, a phone call from Steph. Like, as they're finishing up, like, probably beating the shit out of this guy that they've kidnapped. And, like, you know... <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that you say... I, forgot I love how you say that... Guy. I love that you say this guy that they kidnapped. Like, that wasn't 100% Okay, like, okay, but, like, everyone is complacent in it. <laughs> this kidnapped uh -huh. guy that Lane brought to them. <laughs> yeah. We I got y'all a present. We didn't do anything to stop them. To be fair, we don't need to beat him up at the beginning of the session. We just have him locked in the tea room, it's fine. <laughs> or what room the tea room is code for. I'm very concerned about him using his echo, but also I'm worried if I just hit him in the head too many times to make him stop, he's gonna get a concussion. He's gonna get brain damage. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Because, like... Lane's strategy for getting him back to Lee Acres was Roth, you sit with him, and every time he moves, pistol whip him in the head again. <laughs> That's already <laughs> bad. Like, getting hit so hard that you fall unconscious is already really bad for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, one time, it's really bad for you. Like, this guy's probably going to die in a month. <laughs> <laughs> well. I mean, he's going to die in a day. Well, yes, but if After he wasn't. We're done with him. After yeah. if 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 he wasn't coming with us to a secondary location, yeah, he would probably still die within a month. So oh in, so in other words, the the gang is gonna be like standing over a fucking corpse, and then they get a call from Steph, and they're like, "Guys, can you come over?" He's like, "Cat problem." Sure, just let us watch the blood off our hands. <laughs> on the on the bright side, we have Lloyd, who can basically just get rid of the body. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, was, I forgot for a second what his powers were, and I was like, huh? because he's rich? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what I was thinking, but I mean, that's also possible. It's, um, I mean, I'd prefer it if Lloyd did it while the, while the court was outside. You know? <laughs> just fill this. I'm just gonna turn your tea room in. I'm just gonna put a pile of mulch in your tea room. See <laughs> that? It's not actually a tea room. It's just. The code name for it. Yeah. Still. It's a pain to clean up. And we've already said that we'll clean up. God. And by I we mean summer. It's just we, need to put, we need to put his feet in a garbage bag, and then Lloyd does his thing, and then boom. <laughs> God. I remember when Summer was supposed to be innocent. Yeah. And now she's willing to interrogate and hide the body of someone. Someone who, like, the only re the only indication you have that this guy is bad is just, like, a sentence from Lane. <laughs> yeah, no, we have nobody, nobody challenged them on it at all. Lane, Lane who is Lane known like, to be, like... I kidnap a man, and we were all like, okay. Lane, who is, like, known to be, like, an extremely headstrong, like, nutcase. <laughs> Listen, she trusts our friends, and if it turns out he's innocent later, we'll just... Yep. Chloroform and put it on the side of the street somewhere. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Uh, the guy that Lane kidnapped in Dreamscape. <laughs> ah. Anyway, uh, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Hey. Hey. And I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's Asuka doing? Okay, so she is like the last one to come out um, and join oh, the congratulations. others. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm really proud of you. It's, it's, it takes <laughs> a lot of bravery. Step. I know yeah. you already had a wife, but like, this is. <laughs> <laughs> He's apparently are you, coming, Miami. are you coming out as straight? <laughs> she is now, oh, yeah. No. I can't believe I can't believe Asuka's coming out as a homophobe. Uh, uh, I mean, Shinji, that's 
Yeah. We are already. Um, so she is wearing the outfit that she was given, um, and you can tell immediately that, you know when you can see someone walk in a room and you can tell that they are so out of their fucking depth? Like, they, they are uncomfortable, <laughs> they are just kind of... <laughs> um, that's the vibe she's giving off right now. Um, she's very obviously not used to wearing this kind of clothing, she hasn't worn stuff like this in years at this point. Um... It's just a very stark contrast from what she's used to. Yeah, uh, from what I can tell, Asuka is the person that, uh, outside of close friends uh, and partners, uh, people usually just interact with her in, in like a formal military context. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, so, like, so, so, like, suddenly she's here, surrounded by sentient cows, uh, copious amounts of children, which she doesn't mind. She's actually surprisingly good with children. Um, which you would fucking hope so, because she has no, a daughter. No, mother? Good with children? <laughs> <laughs> okay. In, in, in my defense, it, like, look at her. You'd be kind of surprised. Tell me, ne next you'll tell me David's good with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, is it? How much of it is just that she's innately good with them, and how much is just it, having the exper having experience from raising a, a teenage daughter yeah yeah oh um, so but you know there's like farm work to be done there's like breakfast that so she hasn't she hasn't had this sort of breakfast in, again in years um i mean but like this much of it and it's kind of like a casual aside from like what shinji has made like this is right, this is right. he has to chase her with it that's, that's yeah true. yeah actually i have a question is there yeah. any meat being served alongside the breakfast? Yes. yes. Um, that's upsetting. <laughs> it's mostly well, it's pork. pork yeah, it's pork. Oh, it's pork. Okay, pigs aren't people. That's fine. <laughs> is, that, is that any beef? Curious. Uh, it's brec mostly like breakfast sausages and like minced meat, which is sometimes beef, but honestly, pork is just cheaper. It's just cheaper. I'm glad it's that they're not smelly. having beef. Nina's trying not to think about it too hard. Is David Hindu? <laughs> I mean, he Not does kind of believe in karma, does he? Well, you yeah. know, and in, the, in the, the general balance of, of things. He's an incidental Hindu, not an observing Hindu. <laughs> yeah, more or less, honestly. Well. I love the song I said. Hmm? Sorry, Karen. What were you saying? Uh, just no, it was off topic. Yeah, I think it's, it's, a... it's a Rimworld soundtrack. Uh, thought it would fit. Anyway, you were eventually uh, sort of gathered by Ray, uh, who <laughs> talks to you first, Asuka. Uh, and she's got, like, the satellite phone in her hands. Uh -huh. uh, we best start to get going. We're going to get picked up soon. Do you have an exact ETA? Uh, about 30 minutes. Okay. Um, we're going to be taken into a nearby town where there is a bar um, that's being run by people friendly to us. Um, so, from there on, we will meet with the representatives of local groups and coordinate both, an, an, both a national strategy and, more critically, um, a method of well, freeing your daughter. Um, apparently, Shinji's been able to convince the war councils of the idea that this could serve as a unifying act um, between the local movements and sort of bind them closer to us so they're um, willing to support our endeavor in as much as is feasible. Okay, two birds with one stone then. Mm -hmm. uh, she's gonna like gesture towards the others and like in a get ready sort of sense. Yes. Mm. Is there, uh, on, on the stats farm, uh, is, is there a, like uh, a driveway or something or people do, do they just drive through the fields? 
Uh, there is a driveway. There's like, like a, a driveway. It's, it's like a dirt road, but like it's Fair like enough, dirt, but, can... but like the places where tires are, you can tell there's more like gravel had been placed there, and it's just kind of grown over with time. Uh, eventually, uh, a, a fairly it's not huge. But like a, a like a, a big family SUV starts to like come in. It's gray. Uh, starts to drive into the driveway, sort of come to a halt. Inside uh, is a uh, woman with sort of bleached pink skin. Uh, she's got. You'd have to guess. But she's got elf ears, basically. Um, just from her facial features. Uh, you reckon that she's like... Somewhere in Southern Asia? Like India? But you can still see that in like a lot of the, the, the pigmentation on... The, uh, things compared to the person next to her who is very similar, but has a much lighter, sort of, skin tone. Uh, other than the two people already sitting in there, you'll reckon the car will fit all of you uh, pretty much on the dot. I will leave uh, Kuro here to hold the situation. You know, she kind of give, gives her, like, a unsure look, but she doesn't say anything. To be entirely blunt with you, I don't entirely trust her around things like alcohol and, um, horny adult bar goers. Yeah. Mm. Is that uh, what the kind of bar we're- what kind of bar are we going to? <laughs> I gotta- I gotta go my food real quick. I'm gonna grab something real quick as well, give me one second. Have fun. I can't wait for Warwick to make a complete fool of himself because the only thing they know about this part of the world is stuff they've seen in old westerns. Yeah. Why did why does this rat suddenly turn hostile? Now that you've said now that you've said that, that's just given me the massive urge to play a Western DD game. I was working on a setting for one for a while. I never finished it, but I still have the notes. Yeehaw. I was re completely recreating Fantasy Utah. Because <laughs> I have read the Book of Mormon because I think it's really funny. And there's a lot of weird stuff in there you can draw from for fantasy settings. Yeehaw. Come back. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, it's sort of... <laughs> The woman in the driver's seat sort of starts honking. David's I'm like... Supposed to... Sorry. I'm supposed to bring y'all into town tonight? Is that right? Something like yep. that. Right. I don't know much. Just doing this as a favor for a friend. Uh, side note. Has David been able to get into contact with... Uh, Gray. Oh, I just kind of. Uh, I, um, <clears throat> okay. um, have you have you tried? Let's put it that way. I kind of assumed that. Uh, you said you'd do it. That's... I like just assumed... hey, we'll be there. What did you assume? Um, I assumed that the official channels were gonna set us up, but he was gonna text him once he was in town at very least, or give him a call once they were on the way. So Yeah, that's fair. Uh... In other words, he's probably making that call right now, uh, or has just made that call while petting his little um, siblings. Yeah. Alright. Then, uh, hop in, everybody. Yeah. Hop, hop, hop. 
I am hopping. Okay. We are in. You're in. Oh, in, in, in. Sorry. You guys drive for about an hour through, like, just the quiet, uh, first, first, just through the quiet country roads. And eventually, you make your way uh, onto the highway. I uh, have to drive a little windingly, but eventually you end uh, much closer to the ocean, sort of near the border into South Carolina. In like a little... Uh, you know like those towns that you drive through where you go, who the fuck lives here? Yeah. Well, I, work at, I work in three of those towns. Yeah. Uh, you kind of halt in one of those where there's like a <sighs> shitty little like b concrete block, basically. Uh, uh, that's sort of called, that's like sort of near a bit of a, like right in between like a creek and an abandoned Walmart. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, oh shit, let's go over like, So I don't want to see the abandoned Walmart, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> New party goal. Uh, it's a really sleepy town. Like, There's basically nothing there. At this point, it's like 3, 4 in the afternoon. You were driving for quite a while. Uh, so, yeah, here, here you are. You're let out in front of... Like, the bar, it takes you a while until you realize, like, the sort of barely visible letters. Because they're so, like, uh, full of, like, uh, dust and sand that's been, like, blown up during uh, storms and shit. Uh, sort of covers up the name. You don't see the name until you get close to, like, the, the main entrance, which are, like, these two um, uninviting, like, doors. Um... Uh, you are entering a bar uh, called uh, The Drunken Hammer. Yeah, that tracks. Long. Is it still socially acceptable to call these places saloons? No. <laughs> okay. That hasn't been, so that, that's been a distinction. It's not been a thing since Prohibition. Okay. So Everything point, I know about... Everything I know about this part of the world comes from old westerns I watched on the ship. Fair, fair, fair enough. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna get some music here too. I'm very excited for whatever music this is gonna be. It's just bar music, honestly. Aww. You sort of enter, like, into the bar, and it's just as sleepy as you had, you know, imagined a bar in the middle of nowhere to be on, like, a Tuesday afternoon before everyone gets off work. Um, Why does this sound like piano fire? There's a girl sitting behind the bar. Uh, she's got sort of... I don't have a peak crew for her, so you're just going to have to listen to my description of her. She's a... Uh, Fairly short, like five one, five two. Um, girl uh, with sort of uh, a bob cut, uh, like light brown hair. Uh, from her facial features, uh, you'd reckon that her family probably comes from like East Asia, definitely. You'd reckon Korea. Um, she's like basically sort of flattened out over the uh like her her torso is like laying on the bar with her hands like extended out because there's just nothing to do uh, um i'm going to approach the bar um and i'm gonna like knock on the wood is this so, like someone that i recognize no you're pretty far outside your typical okay my typical run yeah um the only other people, I'll get to you in a sec, Oscar. There are the only other two people 
are two sort of middle-aged men in the back of the bar um, with a big, uh, like, uh, IWW logo over their, like, regular table. Now, for those who don't know, the IWW is sort of a left-wing revolutionary union organization that's ancient at this point, like, at the point where the uh, campaign takes place about 150, 160 years. Oh, okay. Uh, they're just having a drink. Uh, Asuka, you knock on the, on the wood. She sort of sits up, looks at you, and sort of her, her eyes sort of, like, go a little, like, wide. She basically big what's at you. <laughs> Fair. Oh. Hey. Yo. Uh. I kind of gesture to the to those around. We're here to meet some uh, contacts. Oh, you're the people. Hey, what's your name? My name. Yeah. My name is my name is Oscar. Uh, she big what's more. You're like a big hero, you know that? Like, um... Hold on. Take, take a seat, take a seat. Um, um... She, like, starts... She pulls out her phone. <laughs> like, starts swiping through it. Tony Stark just walked into the bar. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, like, Ray's standing next to you and is, like, smirking a little. Hmm. Do you know if your likeness has been used in any sort of propaganda? Uh... No? Well... I do recall Shinji mentioning something a few weeks ago. Did he? I'm genuinely the... out of character, did not remember. <laughs> no, you did not discuss this. This is basically okay, something okay. you haven't really heard of, but you've kind okay, of been... I'm, I'm being gaslit right now. <laughs> <laughs> um... I remember telling me that mm, you, the person, were being used by our um, public relations department as a sort of shining example. Mostly because you're the only person in the past six months that's managed to eschew significant tactical victories against the third faction. That would explain why I would know nothing about it, because I don't give a shit for PR. This bartender knows a lot about the military. <laughs> uh, mm. uh, well, we're not exactly a... Hmm. Oh, we don't like the government. Uh, and, like, the owner is... Uh, like, knows some people in your... Hmm, cater things. Like, she sort of... <sighs> mm, she hands you her phone, right? Um, there's a whole bunch of just, like, you know, war propaganda, like your typical, uh, uh, like, posters about fighting the fascists, and you very clearly recognize that, like, on, on a bunch of them that are sort of about, like, the, the battle in, in eastern Poland, western Russia, a lot of them sort of use your likeness, um... If you were an army level commander there. Uh-huh. Uh featured a communist propaganda, like More or less, yeah. Like <laughs> Like there is one where you're sort of uh <sighs> like there's something there's like a, a line that's supposed to represent the Polish Russian border. Uh, -huh. uh and you're being depicted as like uh a, 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 like a fiery knight. That sort of, uh, impaling a gigantic snake, uh, with, like, a, a, a like a lance, like a, a horse-riding lance, uh, and the snake is fashioned at the end into a swastika. Oh my god, it's the don't tread on me snake. <laughs> I, I, I kind of, I kind of start, like rapidly scrolling through all these fucking propaganda photos and I'm like you can tell just looking at my face I'm like uh that's cool I guess 
Yeah. You, you are also a big wedding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ray sort of. Uh, she's got a smirk on her face. I don't think I'm getting royalties for this. I kind of sarcastically hand the uh, phone back. Well, uh, you're being transformed into a popular icon, though. Statistically, this means someone threw porn of you already. David chokes on his drink in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, what? Of, co of course. A uh, normal person would draw porn of a war hero. I, I wouldn't say a normal person, but some people. <laughs> I didn't say normal people. I said people on the internet. Gonna say, let's not go as far as calling them normal. You see David like get out his phone and start typing. <laughs> <laughs> the morbid Twitter character. users aren't normal people. Fuck, do I have like a fucking like Twitter following? Like how the fucking ghost of Kiev got like a fucking Are there Oscar Are there Oscar fan cams? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know there is. Fuck. It's like dude, dude, there are you're already right now subreddits that basically turn make fan cams out of like war <laughs> footage. Like uh Uh The fact that you know How many do, How many people pretending to be Asuka are selling feet pics on the internet? Right <laughs> Honestly good for them. <laughs> yeah, I respect the hustle, I'm just curious. Um, the bartender sort of <laughs> fidgets with her, with her hands. Did you want anything to drink, any of you? Uh, I can get you something normal. I can mix drinks too. Do um, you have any gin? Gin, just straight gin. Yeah. That's okay. a common enough drink in the south. <laughs> Whiskey, please. Whiskey. <laughs> I'll just take like a bottle of Jack Daniels. Just the whole bottle. Sure. Yeah. Not... My whiskey of choice. I, I'm not from around here in case you can't tell. Where you are from? Or, where, where are you are from? <laughs> where you are from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, at the Northwest. Um, from Washington State. Washington State? Pretty damn far away from here, if you ask me. David has I... ordered a root beer for the record. Yep, uh, it's just that I don't particularly like the attitudes that people have up there normally. What is the attitude up there? <laughs> Am I... Is it not the same oh? as in real life now? Out of character. Oh! Uh, you're you. Ha you haven't been in the U.S. for very long, have you? I mean, I grew up here, but it's been a couple years. Uh, well, a couple years back, there was this big riot, and um, like, you know, a bunch of states up northwest, and uh, it's basically martial law by anything but name. Cops on every street corner. Been like that for years now. He just makes a fucking face. He looks almost concerned and confused. Yeah. All he remembers. It's honestly kind of fucked. Um, but you're probably safer here than uh, anywhere else in the south. Not that that means much. Um, people here, though, are usually old steel workers and, uh, like, farm hands, though, so, like, I'm not gonna write you out to the cops here. Or cop. There's only one in this town. <sighs> yeah. We can dispose of them. That's <laughs> our thinking, but he kind of doesn't leave the precinct anyway. Also, if we get rid of him, then what's to say that they won't send two more in his place? Who are more, uh, active? Eh, resources, mostly. Like, 
the Russians could land here tomorrow and occupy this town as long as they're not leaving out. I don't think anyone will care. Yeah, that's about what I understood of it. <sighs> um. <laughs> Right, right, your drinks. Mm. Uh, what about you? Sort of pointing at you, uh, Asuka. Uh, a whiskey, please. A whiskey. Uh, pointing, then she points at you, Nina. Uh, what about you? Did you order something? Um. I don't know kinds of drinks, is my problem. Ah. <laughs> uh, where well, I could get you a beer or something non-alcoholic. Plenty of sodas. Um, yeah, just just soda would be good. Uh, what kind of soda? What do you have? <laughs> Pepsi product, Coke product, <laughs> cola, like Fanta. Right, I I don't. I'll be right back. I heard a loud bang, and I want to make sure the TV didn't fall over. <laughs> Probably a good idea to check. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you a coke. Thank you. <laughs> I love just the very quiet. Thing. <laughs> um, take a take a seat over there. That big booth is yours. Seating. 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 Um, seating. 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 Very sit, sit, quickly, she brings you your drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, she. Yeah, it's. It's just a bar. It's a. You know, the sort of hole in the wall aesthetic. The inside is definitely comfier than it was on the outside. Um, so, while you wait, what are you all gonna do? If anything at all. I just gotta take in the sights, to be honest. Uh, David's still trying to get a hold of uh, Dre, if he hasn't already. Yeah. Uh, he, he rep just replies with a very simple will be there. Solly replies with a text. Yeah, that sounds like him. Um, <laughs> then I will... Uh, regale to others some tales of probably slightly not totally legal things that he has done in his life. <laughs> it, like, in the area. Just like, oh man, you should have seen it one time. We had... This big go kart. And Danny, Danny thought it would be hilarious if we tried to go all Blues Brothers on these motherfuckers. So, he got the cheese wheel and he put it on the front of the cart. Oh shit. Fuck, I just spilled my drink. Give me a sec. Shit. I'm back. Yeah. It wasn't my TV. It was my toaster falling over. And in other what? news, my bagel is done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hold on. I'm going to help us. Yep.
Okay, hi gang, sorry about that. Did Asuka also spill a drink? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she just spilled fucking whiskey everywhere, and now she's like, cursing under her breath, and she's like- Oh no, now the bar's <laughs> a fire hazard. Uh, 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 like, Ray just sort of, um, smirks at you. Mm, but you're not even drunk yet. I'm not drunk yet, but I'm so out of my fucking element here. You really, like, can't hold, hey. really, really can't hold your liquor, huh? Mm. <laughs> Angry cleaning. She, she even looks at a piece of liquor, and she just instantly gets drunk. <laughs> mm, that hasn't prevented her from drinking quite a bit in the past. Grumble, grumble. Uh, Rate pats your head. I clean, mean, clean. at least because she is short stack, her drinking bar will be cheap. <laughs> she no, takes the uh, she takes a paper towel that is like drenched in liquor and throws it at Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, hang God, on. Is there a die spot? Is there a die spot? The slap. <laughs> Actually, no. slap roll an attack. Oh, so roll me a dex say, a dex check, and we're gonna add your um your proficiency bonus. God. Okay, so a dex check. Yep. Yeah. What's your proficiency bonus right now? Uh, hold on. Mm, I don't Wait. think it's that high. I don't know, sorry. It's plus four, I think. Uh, four, yeah. Plus four, sorry. I'm okay, roll a dex check. Nine plus four. Uh, nine plus four is thirteen. What's your AC, Lilith? My AC is seventeen. Uh, like, you throw the rag and it goes directly over her head onto the empty table behind her. <laughs> I hit some <laughs> random dude. <laughs> I'll just stick my tongue out at her like, haha. <laughs> she is drunk, she can't aim. <laughs> <laughs> As <Eventually>, I said. <laughs> eventually, uh, some people come into the bar. The first one is like, a tall, muscly woman, uh, mm. with, like, she's wearing a t-shirt, uh, that is not quite long enough, so, like, it, it becomes, uh, like, it sort of cuts off just under her belly button, uh, and she's wearing, uh, shorts, and a beret, of all things. Uh, he sort of walks in, uh, walks towards you, uh, and extends her hands just in your general direction, seeing whoever will take it. Gross. <laughs> Lilith, <laughs> apparently. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she very tightly shakes your hand. Shake, uh, shake, shake. Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm Brooke Horner. Call me Brooke. Lulu. Nice to meet you, Brooke. Uh, I'm with uh, I'm with the Unionists up north. No. Hmm. I'm gonna order a drink real quick. Take your time. Uh, we'll be here. Nods in her direction. Absinthe! Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, straight absinthe? <laughs> uh, like, you can see the bartender sort of looking, like, with sort of a, a horrified expression. Anything with that? Whiskey is a chaser. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's so cool. <laughs> she's so cool. <laughs> Run a slow. Uh, like, she brings that to the table, and just sort of looks at, at the woman that has joined you now. I also have some rubbing alcohol in the back, if you'd like that. <laughs> mm. Now I'm driving. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine no. having that much pussy that you get. 
like <laughs> <laughs> like she just leans back uh and sort of rests her 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 feet right on on part of the uh bench that no one's sitting on like she's sitting on the chair that's sort of facing the booth so you guys are from Europe yep mm -hmm. and the big lady wants us to negotiate with you or something or uh, they'll negotiate with the others I'm assuming y'all guys want something from us. Well, you want me to be perfectly honest? I prefer honesty. It means I don't have to bullshit as much. Yeah, most people down south here do. Well, honestly, we're looking for a daughter. Kid. Hers, to be specific. And he emotions to Asuka. Not a lot. Yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Uh, She's missing husband's in your... Yeah, my husband's in your little organization, so I heard a bit about that. <sighs> Has it really spread that far and wide? Ah, he's a officer somewhere in like a marine division. I haven't seen him in a while, sadly. Ah. His name wasn't Vladimir by any chance, was it? <laughs> no. Okay, good. His name's John. Okay. Either way. Um, yeah. We're, uh, not opposed to working with you in any way we can. You know where this prison is? Well, we That's part of the stuff. issue. Well, we what have... is the rough estimate? I'm, I'm gonna show her. Do I have, like, a picture of the... Yeah. I was gonna show her. Uh, excuse the, uh, vagueness of this, but... Before they hauled my daughter off, she drew this. I'm assuming she just didn't know where exactly they were taking her. Whew. That sounds so... My people honestly or organize ourselves in the steel belt, unfortunately. You know, I'm, I'm from Chicago myself. My condolences. It's gotten better. Uh, Chicago ain't that bad nowadays. They got a nice river. <laughs> I, it's gotten better ever since we chased the cops out of the poor district. You know what? That's a fair point. You're right. <laughs> uh, I was talking about the north, uh, the richer parts. <laughs> well, what richer parts? <sighs> Any more? Yeah, that tracks. Listen, the the clue the the the, the clue here is that uh, the cops treated us like any other gang. So we just took over parts of the city, drove the cops out of whatever strongholds they still had in those precincts, and the gangs we also chased out. And where did they go? Where the money was. Was. <laughs> you ever seen a mansion burn down? Yeah, I lived in no. Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, you ever seen like a whole gated community be completely overrun? Those are nice pictures. You won't find those in a newspaper or in CNN or wherever. We don't have gated communities in Antarctica. We have seals. Are they part of the Navy? No, they're <laughs> like cute animals with a lot of teeth. Cute? Either the way... <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we can see what we can do. I guess if you want help, you're probably going to have to talk to the Texans. Uh, though, <laughs> they, even, they won't have a lot of assets in those resort in those regions either. For that, you'll have to probably talk to the the separatists down here. <laughs> Just hear David, like he, you see him absolutely down his drink, like to the base. All right, well, I guess we're doing it. <sighs> well, then let's wait for the others. Maybe we can come to some kind of agreement, huh? 
Oh no, I ain't worried about making no agreement. I'm I'm sure we'll get that just fine. Just You sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a bastard, but I know how to deal with him. You know him. Leopardus guy? Yeah. Raymond Bane's keep. <clears throat> I'ma need a fucking okay, drink for this. You, <sighs> you wave the bartender down? Yeah. No, he ha he was uh, drinking root beer. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. No, he he sort of comes on. Yes. How may I help you? Gasoline. <laughs> uh, I'll like take her. some Jack Daniels. You all have terrible taste in whiskey. <laughs> eh, some of my family's from Kentucky. I'm deeply sorry. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Uh, she comes back and hands you a glass of uh, whiskey. It's nicely arranged and everything as well. Uh, arranged gotta... whiskey? What? what? It's... <laughs> she... <laughs> it's clear that she's actually really good at mixing drinks, but no one ever orders anything because this is like the <laughs> middle of fucking nowhere. So people just go like, I'll have a beer! Well, this uh, mixologist uh, fucking course is lost on me. <laughs> There's a sommelier working in fucking New Orleans. Basically, yeah. Like... <sighs> so she just goes back to her... To, to just scrolling on her phone at the bar. She looks very upset. <laughs> None of us are going to be drink. Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> Next time we come here, I'm gonna order a dark and stormy just out of pity. <laughs> uh, another uh, a man comes in. This one's wearing a like sort of a suit. Uh, he's fairly tall, like five ten, five eleven. He's got uh. Like, uh, messy blonde hair. And uh, he sort of straightens his tie. And for a moment, uh, the bartender, like, sort of, you know, looks hopeful at him. Uh, I'll have a shot of tequila. <laughs> Sad enough. Whoa. Uh... The man uh, <clears throat> walks down towards you guys. So it does a short bow. Hey. So. And you are? Uh, <clears throat> give me a sec. <clears throat> uh, I'm uh, George Sander. Uh, from the USM down in Texas. Uh, no! <sighs> we actually very recently received your first weapon shipment down from Mexico, so. Well, we're happy to help in any way we can. So, what can I do for y'all? <laughs> Gentle repeating noises. Yeah, yeah. I repeat. <laughs> <laughs> well. And you'll ha you'll probably have to talk to the locals if they're willing to cooperate. Anyway, I imagine they will. One of us are too threatening. Oh, that's probably the problem. <laughs> Fair enough. And eventually, a third person walks through the door. This one doesn't look direly. Uh, the rest. I'm just gonna post the token you gave him. Oh, sure. And you see, if you have something uh, I, I that's have more better. casual, then post that, please. Hold on, I have one of him drinking somewhere too. Yeah, I do have one of him drinking, <laughs> and it actually shows the colors. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna put this in. 
Media, I guess. There you go. That's what he looks yep. like. <laughs> oh. He has yowie hands. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my boy alone. <laughs> it's not a complaint. It's an observation. <laughs> I that is. I was not prepared <laughs> for him. Uh. This comes in, uh, breaks <laughs> the uh, barkeeper's heart by uh, asking for a bottle of beer. Sad. This poor barkeep, Jesus. <laughs> she work works is gonna... in the middle of nowhere, uh, like where people come to work after they like worked on a farm or in like a local manufactory for like eight to twelve hours. Those people normally earn the people who are really interested in drinks. Warwick is gonna like after drinking like a third of the Jack Daniels bottle, like tuck it into their bag and then order a rum martinez or something other some other complicated uh fucking drink. <laughs> uh she mixes it together, and it's like, I won't charge you. I won't charge you. Just take the drink. <laughs> Thank you. It's good. Uh, she knows what she's doing. It's almost a sad observation when you consider how often she gets to use it. But the man walks over to you. Oh. David, like, immediately gets this big grin on his face and, like, st stands up to hug him <laughs> against his will. <sighs> Hello to you, too. <laughs> what, you didn't miss me? That's not what we're here to talk about, is it? <clears throat> if it was, would you be sad? I'd leave. <laughs> Come on, now. He, like, gives him a hearty punch on the shoulder. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> So, the Europeans want something. Assistance. Really. And she repeats yet, yet again. Uh, We're getting really good at telling this exact same story. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Really weird. Yeah. We've like figured out the optimal times to pause to get a good yeah. audience reaction. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld workshopping the joke. <laughs> I've got people down there. Something tells me you want something in return. Well, the support we've gotten hasn't exactly been adequate. The fucking cops are massacring us out, massacring us out there. I'm down to make some bacon. It's not the problem. I don't want help killing cops. We can do that on our own, but we want the fucking gear to do it. I kind of look towards David and almost kind of point to the lady. Who has the BFG? Is that David? <laughs> yeah. David just sips and then realizes that everyone's staring at him and freezes. What? <laughs> <laughs> well... What kind of gear are you looking for? I want regular weapons deliveries. David, thanks for a moment. Turns to the blonde guy. You just got one, didn't you? Yes, of which half was shared um, with the uh, with his liberation front. He just perks an eyebrow and looks at Dre. Uh, at, um, Dre. Yes, yes, you're trickling us old Soviet weapons from South America. That's not what I mean. I don't think the rest of us have that much of a... <sighs> damn weapon to spare. You know what it's been like over there? I've got this pistol that moans. Uh, <laughs> David just puts his hand very gently on Warwick's. <laughs> I don't think that's what he wants, sweetie. <laughs> I'm just saying the offer's on the table. <laughs> Uh, Ray now sort of perks up. So what you're looking for is Lend-Lease. We're not fundamentally opposed. The problem is, how do you expect us to get it over there? 
That would be your thing to figure out, wouldn't it? <sighs> want to be able to arm and supply an army. That was the promise made. Before the war, as far as I understand. I, you have people you can talk to at home, right? We do. Well, tell them if they want our assistance. We'll have to get as we were promised. Modern weapons, heavy equipment, artillery, tanks, and the training to use them. And you expect all of this to just enter the country, Scott? Well, I don't expect it to be easy. But as you said, there's a war on. And if you want assistance, we'll have to be able to hold our own. If we attack facilities, they're going to retaliate. And if they retaliate, my people are going to pay for it. If we help you get these heavy armaments into the country, we're going to need your help as well. It's got to be a two-way street here. Sure, sure. Talk to your friends. And I'll uh, make sure we can locate that prison and get your daughter out. Um, perhaps the most of us should step out for a moment and call somebody? <laughs> I yeah. think that's her hint that she wants us to leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just for a brief moment. We'll be right back. I'm taking my drink with me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm pointedly leaving the moaning gun behind. <laughs> Desperately trying to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm not trying to get rid of it. It's an offer. Uh. <laughs> uh, we should probably call Shinji about this. Yeah. Uh, who has the radio? Does Ray have the radio? Uh, she hands it to you. Okay. Let me go. <laughs> Mine. Um. Who has the radio? Ring, you ring. need this radio. Ring, uh, ring. For a while. Uh. For a while. Uh. And he picks up, sort of, in his pajamas. Hey, sorry to wake you. Uh, it's, it's like 10 p.m. here. What are we? What's up? Uh, so unsurprisingly, that dreaming dude. Yeah, he wants weapons, modern weapons. Okay. I'm talking tanks, heavy armaments. Uh, Jesus Christ. I told him that's not going to be fucking easy to get into the country. It's not just that it's not easy, it's impossible right now. Uh, unfortunately, Dragidia doesn't rule the waves. We don't have a navy. Uh, and our, our air forces are, are stretched thin as it is. He's talked about this to the, the, to the assembly before. <sighs> well, why I don't know how he the tools to make him, then? He can make, he's a big boy, he can make his own... Alliances to get the actual materials needed, but he needs even to... that's problematic because you need you need the, the machining for it. You need the machines. We can't transport that. Those are still boat loads. The Atlantic right now is hostile waters. The airs above the Atlantic and above the American coast because of recent raids are lit up with anti-air. We're not getting anything across the water anytime okay. soon. Okay, then we don't use the water. What if we could use the teleporter? Even if we had a modern teleporter, there's limits to the logistics in which how this is feasible. He's not talking a couple tons, right? That's an offer that could be done. He's talking about... I think the direct proposal he put forward was that he's expecting us to Supply six divisions. Christ. Those are weapons, equipment, and supplies for around 120,000 men. Okay, so, how about this? 
We know there's heavy third faction in the area, and we know they're, they're the kinds that do have a teleporter, a modern one. If What if we propose the deal to them? We run through... If we find this place, there's a good chance that there's a teleporter that will be able to take that stuff over. Even... Uh, there are even the third faction teleporters seem to have limits. This would Maybe, still take Maybe, but he years. doesn't know that. You willing to take that bluff? He might know more than you know than you know, or rather, he might know more than you know he knows. I'm not repeating that. <laughs> eh. He hates me for other things. Look, I also can't justify this to the assembly. We can barely supply our own men, and it's not going to be easy to justify to the assembly throwing millions of guns into what, as far as they know, might be directly just into the hands of the American government. Um, I'm gonna need either assur I need, I'm gonna need assurances and I'm gonna need time. You're gonna have to work out some kind of compromise. I, I know this is a pain in the ass, but... Uh, hey, I'm no magician, and the Assembly's patience has limits. They want, an they want this alliance just as much as, well, the people here do. But you have to understand the logistical realities of war. I know, I know. <sighs> we'll figure out a compromise. You got any suggestions? Anything <sighs> in that stupid head of yours? As far as he, as far as I know, he wants the ability to <sighs> project um, influence and power across the places under his influence and in the event of an uprising be able to resist uh, the onslaught of the American military so uh, <sighs> sounds like we just need to give him access to a TV tower <laughs> it's not really the problem let me think a really big projector can I, while this conversation is going on, Warwick wants to step off to the side and try something. Okay. I'm going to try and cast Scrying on Lily. Oh, shit. I've put its description in the chat. Uh. Same place of existence. Okay. Arguing right. noises in the background. <laughs> Uh, it does not know if he does not know that you're casting this, so let me. Oh, oh yeah. no shit yet. Uh. How do spell components work in this game? I don't do them unless they're expensive to a certain degree. Warwick has an arcane focus, so I don't think it's a problem for this one. Yeah, it's not. Uh, if a target. No, it's a. Okay, uh... Oh, that's your physical daughter, so hold on. That would either be first hand or familiar. First hand, so it's a plus five. Zero. Oh. No. No, plus five. First hand is Wait. plus five. Oh, okay. You have met the target. Oh, yeah, no. Wait, you've met the target? You don't know her well because your memory's shot. No, but it's first hand. So I do I haven't met the target. Okay. Yeah, uh, familiar is minus power. five. First hand is just no extra modifier to her saving throw. Okay. And we have her possession because we have the notebook. Oh, oh. Christ. <laughs> uh Oh my god, we don't she is right around the corner. She is right there. <laughs> Uh, no, that's her saving throw. That means the scry oh. doesn't work. Oh, damn it. Oh. So, you know she's in the plane of existence. Like, you feel her energy briefly. And then it's like a shield of her own design sort of opens around her mind. Uh, it's based... You know how uh, wizards can sort of project their magical power outwards sometimes? Yeah. It's a lot like that. Okay. Really said, no, thank you. Okay. I mean, she well, doesn't know fine. who's trying to grab her. 
I'll try again later, but that's good to know. Cool. Um, meanwhile, Shinji has sort of thought through a couple stuff. You also hear him, like, talking to people over net really quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. We might be able to send. We might be able to offer him a, a, a volunteer force that would be under his command. Brigade strength, not a lot, but anything it's that something. they anything they can bring, they can leave behind. He's probably not. You're gonna have to negotiate with him. He might. He, I know you're not a diplomat, Oscar. No offense. Plus yeah. the man's stubborn. Don't no, tr- trust, trust me. me, I know that firsthand. He might. Hey, how do you know him? Uh, well, you want the honest answer to that? Preferably, yeah. Uh, I had a pet alligator that I found in the swamp. That's your pet alligator? Well, well he's also my ex-boyfriend, but um. You oh, dated okay. an alligator? Yeah. <laughs> well, did he- you start dating? Did you start dating him when he was still an alligator? No, of course not. It actually isn't that surprising. You can't yeah. say of course not while you have Uncle Eustace. It's a reasonable question. Mm. David, have I ever told you that you and your father have a lot in common? Yeah. Can you stop fucking animal for two seconds? And I like I like to imagine she says this loud enough uh, for the people inside the bar to hear Bartender sort of like tilts her head. Like <sighs> It's the South, that happens, don't worry. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to talk him down. Right? He's gonna initially shoot the proposal down and well outrageous, we're abandoning them. They're getting a case. They're gonna have to deal with that. <sighs> Tell him that once the situation for us improves and we have a navy to protect convoy shipments in any way we can start shipments to him. That's the deal we have. That's as mo- that's the most we can do. Do we have any sort of way of assuring him that we'll actually follow through on that? Well, uh, <sighs> we can have those uh, volunteers over, as I said, in a couple, in about a week. We can have those volunteers assembled and sent over. Okay. Uh, yeah, an approximate amount. Well, Give me brigade, details. Brigade strength. So we're talking like uh, eight to ten thousand people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hopefully, we can use that as leverage to bide our time a little bit. <sighs> yeah. See if you can get him to agree to help. He's. I don't know too much about him. I just know that he's been a headache for the foreign office for years. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Try to co-op. Try to see how the other, how their fr- factions in America might be able to help too. They're usually a lot more amicable. Okay. While you guys communi- while you guys try and negotiate with Draymond, I do have another idea for trying to contact Lily. Okay. I'm gonna cast sending. <laughs> She's on the this plane of existence, so she'll definitely hear it. I'm gonna say Lily. This is your father. I'm using my magic to try and find you. Relax your mind, calm down, and just let me in. I feel Does like Lily I feel like hear open... her dad. Yeah, I was gonna say yes, Jesus. Lily, Lily knows. She... We told Lily. We yes, told Lily. Lily does know. Lily, okay. Lily does. She's probably a biological father because, like, yeah, we told yeah. Yeah, your biological father. To be clear, Oscar didn't because remarry. As far as she's concerned, <laughs> her dad is Shinji. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Five percent. Hold on. Let me. Well, that's only if she's on a different plane. Hold on. Okay. She can respond if she wants as well. Ah. Uh... You just get a e back. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Response. <laughs> you hear her respond. It's like, okay. Don't know where I am. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. <laughs> uh, That's fine. Good. Now she knows I'm casting Scrying. I'm going to use my other fifth level spell slot and cast it again. 
and hopefully she let she just lets it work this time. Wait, you didn't say that you were trying to do that. I said I was using my magic to try and find her. I don't think okay. explaining I'm casting the spell scrying would make much <laughs> sense to a child. I'm using a fifth I'm using a fifth level spell slot. Um <laughs> Hey, <laughs> cast scrying. I cast it again. Okay, let's see. <sighs> uh, since uh, Wait, 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 wait. On a successful save, the target isn't affected and you can't use the spell against it again for 24 hours. God damn it. Okay, never mind. We'll wait oh. and do that tomorrow. <clears throat> wow, wow. <laughs> we'll wait and do this tomorrow then. Okay. <laughs> never mind, Lily. We'll call back in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what just happened? <laughs> Ran out of service. For, on the bright side, the on the record. bright side, she doesn't sound hurt. Are, are are you going to tell Asuka that you just got in contact with her? Yeah, I will, by the way. By the way, Asuka, I literally just spoke with Lily. She doesn't what? sound hurt, but she has no idea where she is. You, magic, what? magic. Remember, magic, magic. I'm trying to find her. I'm working on it. I know. Sorry. I probably <laughs> should have mentioned it before I started casting the spell. She sounds fine. She has no idea where she is. Okay, Jesus Christ. Ugh. You don't have a lot of tact, Warwick. No, I don't. I lived in the Antarctic. You don't okay. develop tact speaking with seals. Okay, you can contact her with your stupid magic. Can you locate her? I can, maybe, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Magic Why tomorrow? Because the, spe because the spell I tried casting does only works once every 24 hours. Says who? Says the rules of magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are rules. Be a little bitch, unfortunately. <laughs> you should probably go back and talk to your contacts. <laughs> She's like fuming at this point, but like, and wh one of those kind of fuming, like you know the person is right and you're in the wrong, but you're still mad about. It. <laughs> so it's like angry. Villains. You're allowed to be. Be as mad as you want. I'm just letting you know that she sounds like she's okay. Okay, thank you. But Asuka? please tell me next time. Yes, what? Yeah, yeah, whatever, sure. Call okay, put on your best uh, poker face. It's for Lily. Yeah, okay. Love you. I'll see you. See you. Straight uh, cuts off. And Ray leads you back inside. So, have you spoken with your friends? We have. We have a little bit of a proposal, but we're going to need an exchange to make it happen. <sighs> Always so strings. I know. If you're not about to repeat my demands as your proposal, I don't think we're going to have an agreement. Well, you know the limits for this. Right. You you know why we can't do what you want. And I'm not saying you're any wrong for being angry about it, because honestly, I'd be pissed as hell if I was you too. Here's the thing. Problem with getting you the supplies you want is we don't have the safe route to do it. If you help us, good chance we can get you that. Now I know you need a down payment, boy. So, don't you worry. Oh. We got a brigade-sized element that we can send to you. International, send it with, what do you say, in a week? Yeah. That's the out, deal. Out of, out, out of character, how much is a, a brigade size again? I, I, five to ten thousand, roughly. Ray, listen, that's upwards of ten thousand men. I know it's not what you want, and trust me, if I could get what you wanted right now, I would. But this is all we can do for the time being. We can't. How do I know I can trust those people? That's my problem. You think I'd be running with them if you couldn't? <laughs> David, I don't uh, think I, I don't doubt that they're good people. 
but they're not my people. They have their own ideals, beliefs. <sighs> Do you want the manpower or not? I suppose I can accept that. But... Now we're getting I'll some talk more. with the others. I'll talk with... I'll talk with some of my officers. See if we know anything about this place that you're describing. That would be appreciated. I mean, so, that's all I need from you, alright? You can come meet me tomorrow. Oh, are you inviting me on another date? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <sighs> so. You're gonna have to come up north, though. David just looks to the others. See that? I'm North running from North? Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah, there shouldn't be no issue. Where cool. is that? North Carolina. No, Asheville. where in North Carolina? I mean, it's not marked on the map. I was just. Asking. I know it's it's like here around this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I was just curious. My sorry. Uh, oh, that no, okay. So, uh, there's a, a what are calling this? The fuck are those things called? You know, near the university, there's a place not too similar, too dissimilar from this one. It's owned by one of my officers, so you can come there. And we can discuss terms. That's all I ask. Dre? Right. Right? Yeah. Thanks. Oscar is looking at him in kind of like a I know your secret sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know you're a fucking scale. <laughs> yeah, Warwick's trying to see if there's any, like, parts that are still crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, like, lizard feet or something? Uh, I mean, he has horns. The crocodiles don't have horns. That's just weird. He's a dragon! <laughs> anyway. Okay. <sighs> See you. And with that, he stands up and gets out. The other two people with you look... Like, they're sort of sharing looks among each other. They look a little concerned. Don't blame them. Is there a problem? I don't think he can be trusted. First of all. I have known him for years. Ever since that scaly fuck first crawled out of the lake. <laughs> Fascinating. Thank you for the image. Yeah, we really need the love. Um, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. See, I don't doubt that you know him as a man. But my problem is more whether you know him as a politician, as a commander. Well, I helped him set up the faction he is now. Not too much of it. I've done some work for him in the past, though. He's mainly been running it the whole time by himself, though, while I'm being on. Well, you mentioned you haven't been in the United States for a while. You Listen, know anyone else who goes and fights Nazis on a regular basis? <laughs> Let's just say there's a reason that we down in Texas have our own little union and aren't affiliated with them. And that reason is? <sighs> He's a brutal motherfucker. And he'll fuck anyone over that he needs to to get what he thinks is best for his people. One of those types of... <sighs> I think he's going to accept your offer. But I don't know whether or not that's going to be the end of it, you know? Mm. <sighs> He'll want more, is what I'm saying. He'll want... 
you'll give him what he wants. And then he'll, or rather, you'll give him what you had agreed on. And I think then he might turn around and want more for whatever work he's done. Just don't let him get leverage on you. Don't let him bully us. us. Got it. And I look very pointedly at David. That goes for you especially. <laughs> nah, we broke up years ago. Don't worry about it. I'm just saying you have personal relations to him. <laughs> That's really fucked up. Want nothing to do with me. He'll say otherwise, but my dad's in my, my dad's in the NSA. I uh, don't exactly have relations to him either. But I do get what you're saying. Um. Well, I'll put it to you this way. You guys can follow him along. Do what he's doing, do, see what he's doing with himself. And if you need assistance, you people have always been good to us. So, we're behind you there. We appreciate that, you have no idea. <laughs> Listen, I have a daughter too. The Nazi <laughs> took her. I'd run amok, you're being remarkably calm. I've had a lot of outlet to express my rage, trust me. <laughs> mainly Nazis. Well, the outlet is mainly Nazi skulls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I respect that, but just make sure that the anger doesn't override your compassion. I don't think your daughter would like to see that. Oh. I'm, I'm trying. I'm sorry, I'm still getting over the crocodile thing. How many people have we met so far that used to be animals? <laughs> Too many. Is that's that like a normal thing years. around here? Well, ten years ago, things started to go magical. Uh, a lot of people became people from wildlife, farm animals. I know, I became a people from a corpse. I don't think that's comparable. Did you hear about that? I mean, I... one is another living creature being transformed into another living creature, and one is necromancy. Judging him? I'm not judging anyone. No, that's. Just... I mean, he's allowed. I mean, is it really necromancy or just very, very delayed resuscitation? <laughs> well, I woke up a different person, so I wouldn't no, call I it resuscitation. Allowed. <laughs> yeah, no, I've had those nights with the alcohol when you wake up and yeah. you don't remember your name. Yeah, awful. Uh, okay. Just stay safe up there, okay? We will. Well. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh my god, the musician well. died. <laughs> <laughs> you make it out. And, frankly, if you want to make it there by morning, you should probably start driving soon. Yep. Me. Okay. Uh, you gonna you going to steal your dad's car? I mean... Or rather, borrow it? Yeah. Yeah. I imagine it's like this, like, he has, like, one of those fucking open-top Jeeps. I was yeah. picturing, like, a Ford Model T. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think with like a V8 in it <laughs> I don't you, an engine he stole from a Lamborghini <laughs> put a fucking aircraft engine in would. I call oh. her the Spitfire cause she's oh. made of parts from a Spitfire oh it runs on Vlad juice <laughs> How nice. uh well you drive through, uh, you know, drive through the country, you get on the interstate. Uh, eventually, you make your way up north 
Asheville University town. <laughs> you follow the instructions given. Uh, and I forgot to write these things down. Okay, well, we're, I'm going to have to improvise it then. Uh-oh. Uh, you should have stopped at, like, the, the driveway. By a couple of, um, like, by two large, like, l identical looking. Like, they're dressed the same, wear the same, like, um, patches, have the same nose, the same eyes the exact same height. These are clearly, like, twins or something. Like, very large, dark-skinned uh, women sort of blocking your car uh, entry in. Y'all from here? Close enough. Looking for Draymond. What do you want with the boss? Uh, well, he invited us. Who are you then? <laughs> David it's Stone, like a Oscar Langley. Uh, he goes through like names everyone. Actually, wait, Oscar's name is. You don't, is this because you just don't remember? It is no, it's Langley. Langley. Lilith and Warwick's name, last names. Uh, yeah, in part, part. If you want me to be honest, yes. Um, <laughs> but also mainly because David's like, oh, David Stone, Oscar Langley, that fucking guy. <laughs> That dude over there in the back. Hey. I mean, I made, my armed? main thought was saving time. You guys armed? Uh, you not? I have this gun that moans. You're gonna have to leave any weapons you have in the car. Okay. Can I take my what stick? What kind of stick? It's made of metal. It's just a stick. No. No, that's a weapon. Okay. <sighs> All right. Get out of the car. We exit the vehicle. Exit, exit. We exit the vehicle. Exactly. They sort of, <laughs> so threatening. Sort of frisk you, you know, pat you down. Yeah. Getting frisky. Sorry. See if any of. <laughs> see if any of you have any weapons on you. Not on me. Not unless you count these. Not unless you count these guns. Points to David's arms. Well, you guys look clean. You can go in. David just gently pats. <laughs> oh fuck! I have this giant flanged mace in my inventory too. For some reason, I'll leave that in the car as well. Why do you have a flanged? I I, it, I assume it came default with making a cleric. And I just wow. never got rid of it. But I have a mace in my inventory, apparently. Wahoo. This is a lot more of an extravagant, like a club sort of place. Uh, you know, there's like multiple stories in this. Like it's it's a very it's very red. The lights are mostly red. Mm. Uh, it's multiple floors. You see people playing pool, dart, people bowling. Uh, people that you very quickly notice are either not white, or the ones that are clearly are inhuman. Uh, yeah, you also see, like, lizard people. You see, uh, only Dragonborn. Is that Lane? <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Jesus Christ. I don't know why you scared me the shit out of me when you said that. Because <sighs> Lane would blow the building up by accident. Like everyone sort of stares at you as you walk in. We don't know where we're going, do we? We'll figure it out. Have you been here before, David? Uh, I was gonna ask you that, DM! <laughs> uh, yeah, but back then, this was just a warehouse. A little bit. 
Not like this, though. Well, we should probably keep moving because I don't entirely think that we're, <laughs> we're all that welcome here. Uh, let's try to find where the boss would be. That's an investigation check. Cool. Come on. I'm gonna do just David or everyone? Or? Everybody that wants to try and help. Sure. Four. I can tell we're in a building. That's about it. Eight. I can tell we're in a building that smells bad. I can see the furniture in the building. <laughs> okay, my perception is 12. Can I use that instead? No. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, investigation. Uh... <laughs> Warwick's just walking around like, I need to, once this war is over, set up my medical practice here. I can smell these venereal diseases. <laughs> you guys look around. You know, look left, right. Oscar, mm -hmm. you quickly realize that when you came in, there was like a big, like, dome, like a glass dome on the roof. Dome. Yeah. Um, and you realize... That's not just a window, because when you look up where the dome is, you see, like, the ceiling's a different color, so there's, like, a, a place up there, like a room. Mm -hmm. And you also very quickly realize that the stairs up there are guarded by men that are very clearly armed. I point it. I'm gonna guess that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it. You guys make your way up there. Fighting the com uncomfortable stairs at every point. And when you get closer to these stairs, they sort of block, like the bodyguards sort of block your way. What do y'all want with the boss? Invited us. Making a deal. The one he's been looking for the whole time. Sound familiar? All right, you can go up. Don't do anything stupid, though. Trust me. Well enough not to. <clears throat> Hold on. You get up. You walk over there. Or you walk up the stairs, and you quickly see a place there. Like, a, there's a big office in there, basically. Um, there are two bodyguards, again, sort of at two exits. And you can see Draymond... Sort of sitting at his desk. Uh, this time he's wearing a suit. Pants. A lot less casual. Come in. It's not crocodile leather, is it? <laughs> Baps you. <laughs> I mean, it, no, I've seen crocodile leather suits. I've seen in the South. I, I, yeah, no, that tracks. It's a reasonable question in this part of the U.S. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a lot of the people who live here are probably vegan. <laughs> or perhaps pescatarian. You never know. So, I thought about your deal. And? I want to amiably alter it. I've conferred with my generals. We've decided that a brigade is too much. Too much? No, too much. <laughs> okay. Listen, when you have an army, and you want to keep control of that army, you want to make sure that the core of that army is made up of loyal soldiers, um... That are within your command structure. 
if we grow too reliant on these troops. Once they leave, or we have a falling out, then we're fucked. Okay, what do you propose instead? I propose... <sighs> that you help us out. I still want help, in that sense. I'll accept... a division. Not a division, what am I saying? Uh, I'll accept maybe a company. Two platoons. Done. 50, 100 people. That's pretty that much. Then, you are going to help us raid a United States armory. Oh, that's really... No, that's not a bad do idea. We do. Do we have evidence that the U.S. is working with the third faction? Evidence? You've been fighting U.S. troops on the Eastern Front for fucking months now. Okay. All these dead soldiers we killed. Never mind. I'm stupid. It's fine. Uh. <clears throat> uh. It's not a bad idea. I mean, well, they could be keeping Lily there for all we know. Doubt it. I know where they are keeping your daughter. You know where? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Talked with my officers yesterday. How concerned should I be? You know what, Fort Morgan? Do I know about Fort Morgan? <laughs> you know, American. <laughs> Does uh, David know about standing. Fort Morgan? <laughs> yeah, Fort Morgan is... Okay, hold on. Uh, In Alabama? Yes. Neat. It was a federal fort. Or rather, initially, it was a federal fort, then it became a confederate fort, and then it was recaptured by the Union Navy during the American Civil War. Uh, it was basically a military fort out of, like, out of Mobile Bay in Alabama, so, like, hold on. Sorry. Uh, so, like, here. Right? <sighs> Old Civil War era fort. A couple of years ago, the U.S. Navy, first in the U.S. Navy, then the U.S. Army, came back into the uh, fort and remilitarized it. Then a couple of years ago, two years to be exact, I seemingly changed ownership again. Big, scary black spires started to come out of the ground at the strategic naval site. By now we know it's a prison housed by that's being used by your enemy to house its enemies, important prisoners, as well as the Americans' uh, political prisoners. Does that nice. sound roughly like what you're looking for? Mm, yeah. Well, I'll help you get in there. But there it is. <laughs> I'll do it after you help me get those guns. And we can trust you to carry out your end of the deal. How? Because if I don't, then my supply will be cut off, and I won't get the end of the deal that you offered me. Oh, that's a reasonable side. We'll go back on some money. This is. I have an addendum to that. How do we know you won't alter your deal? You'll have to trust me on that. Do you have another choice? Thought so. We do not. 
So, I have a couple targets in mind. So, my idea is for you to grab the uh, uh, volunteers that you're bringing over. And uh, raid a certain uh, military fort that used to be a museum. This one you should know. Fort Sumter. Uh. Pretty similar situation, just not as militarized. Here the US Army last year already militarized the fort and turned it into a big ammo dump. This is where naval task forces go to resupply themselves. The idea is you're going to hijack one of the supply ships, bringing out uh, ammunition, which is going to be used to try and supply American forces in South America. You're going to steal that transport. And you're going to bring it to a friendly dockyard south of Charleston. That'll be... Mm. <sighs> I'd reckon about 100,000 guns. A couple million rounds of ammunition. Some artillery pieces. Maybe even some uh, old tanks, if we're lucky. Can you live with that? I look to the other. You know, I can. I ain't got I'm down to make some bacon. Mm hmm. Good. Gather your friends. And then, uh. You're gonna meet with my officers. Um. Uh, the, my officers uh, that are in charge of our district in South Carolina. Okay. Is there anything else? The comes here. <sighs> I got nothing. Cool. Well then, go talk to your friends. Off we go. Away. Right. Second to last thing we'll do. Then we're done. <clears throat> You're gonna come out. You once again leave the bar and end up back in the car. Do you call he? He. 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 <laughs> Him. He. Ring, ring, ring. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Hello. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm suddenly realizing that the music that you just had on was called Alien Cake Music. <laughs> he comes and answers the phone. Uh, he looks tired this time, rubbing his eyes, uh, still wearing his pajama. Keep fucking waking up. Keep dealing with this. Hello, 4 a.m. here in Arkhagel. How can I help you? He wants less troops. <laughs> I explained the situation. <laughs> uh, he is a fickle person to deal with. You know, there aren't. I have never been an aggressive. Man, generally speaking, Asuka can attest to this. I've lived with her for most of my life, and even she hasn't brought me to violence a lot. 
half a year working in this job, I... <laughs> like, he sort of looks at you through the camera. I understand you now, Asuka. <laughs> About fucking time. <laughs> How much does he want? No, oh, you already said a co company, right? <sighs> Gives us some flexibility. Um, let me look through some stuff. Two platoons, two company. That was his words. Yeah, that. I wouldn't skip to that. just to the lowest, just because, well, it's gonna take that badly. Like you said, he's. Fickle, uh, but... No, two platoons make up a company. Stupid. Uh, I can send you some people from Germany. They can probably get through French airspace pretty easily and fly over there with a couple of um, full-loaded vehicles. Yeah, that'd be stellar. I mean, able to get... Cool. To... Uh, no armor, but uh, I can attach um, a small mech unit. Fucking bird. Mech time. Uh, I think this will interest you, Asuka. You'll never guess who uh, is apparently the uh, major in charge of that small uh, uh, that small unit. I got a next. Hmm. It's Akari. Uh, really. Wait, Hikari? Damn bitch. Yeah. Now, this is a surprise to you for a specific reason. Last you checked, like back before things went to shit, Hikari was like taken prisoner by the mm -hmm. third faction. That's the last you know of her. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Damn. Cool. Do you have any safe place we could land? David just takes a moment, picks up his phone. Cow field should be big enough, right? <sighs> Starts ringing his dad. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can I house an entire military battalion in your... <laughs> okay, you're gonna tell me his dad would say no? He doesn't care about the logistics. He thinks it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you call him and ask him? Yeah. <sighs> Fine. Give me a sec. Yup, yeah, what's up? Hey, Pa. Uh, we got a big open field out there, right? You got any building anything out there? Uh, not right now. Cool. Uh, you alright with me landing some friends there? Find friends. Uh, company of soldiers? You know, technically that's against the Third Amendment. And I mean, while I always wanted to invoke that amendment, I'd like to do it. <laughs> Alright, love you, Pops. We'll be home soon, okay? Oh shit, it is against the Third Amendment, huh? Well, not if you ask politely. <laughs> well, uh, they can't without force the consent their of the way owner. In. Yeah, that's, yeah that's I know. I, d I never knew what the Third Amendment was. I had to Google it. I literally just learned about this. Like this week. <laughs> I've learned so much. I've learned so much about the world in this campaign. <laughs> Did you know Italy is shaped like a boot? <laughs> Thank you.
more you know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Gonna do another fast forward. This is the last thing we'll do with them all. We're done. I love that David's dad just is like, yeah, sure, do whatever the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he's a little miffed about not being able to invoke the Third Amendment because he always wanted to. Mm -hmm. Does that apply to foreign armies on U.S. soil, though? Uh, it doesn't specify, so yes. Huh. Take it to the Supreme Court. Oh, I, for one, am very surprised he's a fan of the Constitution. I would have pictured him as one of those I'm a sovereign citizen types. He likes to invoke things just to piss off government officers. That's his deal. Ah. All right. The morning, you're all woken up by uh, the sound of jet engines. Not the roosters this time? They... Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot earlier. It's still dark out. David's um, helping soothe his siblings' very sensitive ears. Yeah. The Beatles land. They unlo unload a couple of like um, light vehicles, and then the uh, they land themselves. Uh, <laughs> first thing you actually see is a pilot uh, stepping out of one of the uh, like cockpits walking over to you y'all have kerosene? got cow manure like... can't power jet with that did anyone save Vlad's bottle of kerosene? you're not gonna power an entire air fleet with a bottle. No, but it would be funny to throw a small bottle of it at them. Uh, kind of your dad though. immediately like sort of comes over to them. I can get y'all some kerosene. Don't don't worry. I can. I know a guy. I know a guy. And sort of leads the guy away. Uh, There's a kerosene plug. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna tell me there's some guy who can produce kerosene from his fingers once a month or something? <laughs> if you no, give him fish bones, someone that works at an aircraft company. That works too, I guess. That's less fun, <laughs> but sure, fine. We'll do it your way. Uh, a mech does step out. Like it's a six-legged mech, mech that steps out of uh, one of the larger transports uh. and halts right in front of you, Asuka. Oh boy! Its eye sort of focuses on you. Tilts. Stares it down. Yeah, does not say anything. <laughs> oh. They would kind of like staring at us. Waves his <laughs> hand between them. Are we just going to stand here or you all have something to tell us? Uh, the mech opens up. Oh, okay. David puts his hands up and backs up. Uh, in media. That's what Hikari looks like. Oh, I remember her from... Oh, hey, yeah, okay. One shot, yeah, that's why I was confused. I was like, wait. Now I know who this is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was I the only one that remembered? <laughs> well, no, I, j I remembered the name, but I couldn't remember where I remembered it from. <laughs> uh, now, Asuka, you immediately know something's fucked up. Oh, no. On her. Like... Look like you know if you look at the picture, there's there's clearly yeah. something. Fucky. Yeah. Something. What happened to you? Do you mean in general or? Sure. Oh. Oh. You see, <laughs> yeah. Twelve years ago, I was captured. They attempted to brainwash me. It failed. They did not have enough time. They called it an experiment. Didn't work. She, she, she looks kind of bothered. 
Sorry, I can't express emotions very well. I'm partially lobotomized. <laughs> Look to the group. I'm sorry to hear that. Christ. That's okay. I'm recovering. I can feel pretty normally again. It's just not something I can express. Mm. Not something at least. You happy to see each other at least? I probably am. Uh, she pulls you into the stiffest hug that you've ever experienced. <laughs> Hell like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is like the stereotype of what you'd imagine a Ray hugs like. Yeah. Like, it's just the motions. How have you been? It's been a lot. I returned the hug very awkwardly as well. Um. Two very awkward people who have <laughs> social skills Ooh, attempt really to well socialize. <laughs> well, Hikaria's social skills, she's just lost them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Fucking lobotomized. laughs> yeah. oh. If I cast Greater Restoration, would she regrow the missing part of her brain? It's it's not that it's missing, it's badly connected. Ah, okay. Also, I was um, about to say, that would probably give us some sort of like seizure or further brain damage or something. It probably would! I, meanwhile, it's... I'm just thinking about how you can become uncircumcised because of greater restoration. Anyway, yeah. Oh, to be Put honest, it back. <laughs> I'm slowly recovering through neuro uh, therapy, but it takes a couple years. Yeah. So, you're fucking Shinji now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was going to say we were looking for my daughter. But yes, I guess I am. <laughs> well, I already knew that we were looking for your daughter. So it wasn't really much point in me asking that. Because I already know that. <laughs> but you were very interested in her um, exploits. Um, that sounds like your priorities have not changed much. Hello, Ray. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> like, <clears throat> Ray is doing her best to maintain her, like, neutral demeanor. Mm -hmm. uh, but just look like the little twitches in her face. This is her equivalent of a shit-eating grin. Yeah. She's trying so hard not to be a little shit, but here she is. Oh no, she doesn't care. She just uh wants to be am am amiable to her her good friend. Good friend. <clears throat> okay. So, where exactly are we gonna go to shoot people? Explains the information. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. She she just keeps staring at you now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. We're, uh. <laughs> she looks very, very uh. David is prepping everything in the background. <laughs> I didn't know there it was, was possible some... to have a conversation with Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> there is something else I was going to ask, but I don't think it would be appropriate. Yeah. Looking at you, Asuka, not really reacting to anyone else. Uh, Alright. Mari. Her expression like immediately kind of darkened. <laughs> what about if I had to guess <sighs> what they did to her not too dissimilar what they tried to do to me I gather as much I'm I suppose I wasn't as susceptible to their particular methods. 
I'd be surprised if someone was like you. Hmm. I think it's a miracle that you're standing in front of me right now. It more or less is. I only recently started to remember more complex things. However, I'm glad that I do. Although I am only half the person I used to be. And that's not because of the lobotomy. He kind of gives her a look. The idea was to erase everything that I was and replace it with something else. However, they realized eventually that it was impossible to erase me. But before they could try, start to try and mm, force something else over my existence, my mind, the whole place got blown up by a strike team who had realized that there was a remnant in there. She uh, looks, she, she, she doesn't say anything. She looks very bothered. She's thinking about Mari. It's like a media everyone can tell. Um, maybe this is something to discuss when we have a bit more time. Yeah, please. Okay. Sorry I brought it up. It's not that I think that she's offended or anything. I think it's just important that we focus. Uh, <laughs> we should get everybody ready. Um, Asuka. Mm. Can you go and uh, help Kuro get on all her gear? Yeah, I'll go do that. She kind of okay. goes off. Well, back into your our uniforms, I suppose. Right, let's get ready. Yep. Uh, just last aside. Uh, is Asuka going to try and help Kuro find all her gear? Yes, regrettable. She is trying to be cooperative. Keyword trying. But like, it's like, where did you leave your stuff? It's like, I have many things. <laughs> <laughs> After, like, maybe the fifth attempt to, like, get some specifics, she's just going to start, like, Fitting her with the best she can. It's not her stuff, but like who knows where her stuff is. It could uh, be like two like, states over. Okay, you, you you start like whirring through the mess of clothes, um, and then you turn around. She's starting to put on her own uniform. It's it's her pilot suit. I like to imagine as I was like going through her stuff. Uh, I was also kind of cleaning as well in the process, like making it less fucking cluttered. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been used for my cleaning. <laughs> Where did that come from? This is my uniform. No, where was it? I was. We were looking for it. This is what you wanted me to find. Yes. Where? Where was it? This is my uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear Oscar scream. <laughs> 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 scream of frustration. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Ray knew what she was doing here, though, because now she's uh, angry instead of smad. <laughs> yeah. Sad. Just sad. Yeah. Just sad. Uh, Good job deflecting her emotions. <laughs> <laughs> you seem frustrated. Do you need an aspirin? <laughs> Oh, I need way more than an aspirin right now. <laughs> Starts dragging her out as soon as she's dressed. <laughs> Alright. 
I believe Asuka is very frustrated with something. <laughs> I twitch. <laughs> she sort of like tilts her head. Is this what they call down bad? <laughs> I am down bad. <laughs> that's, that's it. You that's know, the session. That's where we're ending. Goodbye, yeah, that's, everyone. That's, that's, where we're, that's where we're ending it. The screen cuts off. <laughs> Perfectly cut screams. You know when you're watching it. You know when you're watching a TV show and like you hear the instrumental of the end theme pulled up in the background yeah. and then it cuts off for one line of dialogue and then smashes yeah. back in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally what just happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was today's session. Next session, you're gonna go blow up an armory. Yeah, That was good fun. Yay. Well, actually, you're hijacking a boat, but... Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Are you? Yeah. Also, Jesus. That's what's... Hmm? Oh, you're sorry, mine's off. No, 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 no. It's fine. I was gonna say, Jesus, this map is a mess. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the first... This season's first really chill session. Yeah. Uh, what is what is everyone's favorite note on the map? <laughs> That's what I have to ask. I I added it so I'm biased, but I am partial to if Florida is America's cock, are these islands the semen? <laughs> I mean, that one's new. <laughs> that one is good. Uh, again, I'm 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 biased, but I like the fucking yodeling guy. <laughs> Uh, the yodeling guy, the guy scared the hell out of me when he finally loaded it. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I do like I just... uh, Ohio could single-handedly defeat the third faction. <laughs> like, yeah, they could. My they could. favorite is current objective survive. <laughs> that one is pretty good. I really like that uh, both Virginias have been crossed off as virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I only just noticed that. The West Virgin. <laughs> West Virgin. West Virgin, take me home. <laughs> also, the tiny, the tiny little hut, the tiny little house to represent where the fort is in Alabama. <laughs> it wasn't even that. I did it as the sweet home one. That is the sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> the sweet home. Uh, I am. I am also a fan of just. My hi mom. <laughs> I love the mecca of Bass Pro Shops with the little Bass Pro Shop pyramid. <laughs> I don't know who added the pyramid. I was the one who put in the text. I'm Wait, biased. Where did, I, where did my thing go? Are I also like Arkansas, Arkansas. The W. Yeah, I mm. just. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sending this to my friend. I hope you will notice that the the. The little blue boxes that were have just been completely erased. I did. I did see you doing that. <laughs> my favorite. Ari found dead in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Florida is the cock of America, as flaccid as our liberty and rights, also full of terrible disease. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? Crocodile. Uh, also, I, I like the more detailed Maryland mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone fl someone made the eye pretty. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just like, huh, I put like a little dot, but I'll put like I'll give it like a little nostril thing at the end. I'll I'll give it like bags under its eyes, an angry eye. <laughs> I also I like that the only note in New <laughs> Orleans is love that chicken from Popeye. <laughs> I was I really also... tempted to write black people real next <laughs> Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my Jesus. god. Uh, Croc Noble, god damn it! I hope you like where they finally found Kentucky too, where one of the lakes are. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Oklahoma, it's just pan. Yeah, Oklahoma yeah, looks like a fucking handle. pan. Yeah, the panhandle. Uh, Illinois has nothing. Nothing. Not, there's nothing in Illinois. <laughs> that's that's the track. Oklahoma looks like oh. a pan. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. 
Does anyone get my overused joke, Alabama? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I didn't want to write the actual thing. <laughs> Incest, isn't it? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> What? Why? Huh? Well, that was fun, gang. Oh, well, someone someone added down. a note to Illinois. I feel like they more erased something. I mean, oh fuck. Okay, so just one last thing. Uh, I should be able to host next week. I have dental surgery on Tuesday. I hope I'll be able to talk normally again by uh. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. So. Uh, okay. Yay. Thank you, DM. Yeah, thank you, DM. Thank yeah. you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye.